Michael the Photographer, how's it going? I'm Michael Selbe. Today I would like to show you a very simple and quick solution for creating an awesome photo studio background at your home in a very small space. It's even kind of mobile, so it would also work if you have to carry it over to another location. That's fine as well. I just did a little test shoot with that and I want to share with you how it went. Now, usually I always encourage you to use the GL method to flash photography to shoot awesome photos. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but one thing of the GL method is that in your home, you should find a simple white corner and shoot right there. If there's no simple clean white corner, I encourage you to do a do-it-yourself solution. For example, go to the hardware store, get two big sheets of styrofoam and make a V-flat solution where you can pose the model in. But what if you are not into do-it-yourself and at the home there is no such a corner? Well, there are other options and one of them I've just tried out today and it's just awesome. Now, what I got was a simple white Spanish wall and you can get these things at the local furniture discount store or on eBay. I got mine from Amazon. I will show you the thing. It's this one. It's uh, 1 meter 90 high, uh, which is not all too high. I would prefer 2 meters, but it's working and it's 2 meters and 17 wide. In reality, my Spanish wall is looking relatively cheap, because it is, but on a photo with a lot of light on it, it's looking posh, clean, sexy, and still romantic, so I really like it. What I want you to do is to set up your Spanish wall in an L shape. And if you can place it directly at another wall or cupboard or something, then it gets an extra bit of stability, which would help when the model is leaning against the Spanish wall. Now, if it's leaned against another wall, then it's more sturdy. It won't easily tip over. Otherwise, you have to be a little bit careful. If you have a dark floor, then I want you to do an additional thing. I want you to lay a piece of white fabric or something white onto the floor. Now, this will do two things for you. Point A, it's reflecting light from the floor up to the model, so it's filling in shadows. That is a good thing. Point B, if you have scenes where the model is sitting down on the floor, then the floor can still be in the frame and it's still looking good. If you would have a dark floor, then probably it wouldn't look all that good. My Spanish wall got five elements with five elements, if I arrange it in an L shape, I will end up with one longer side and one shorter side. That is perfectly fine. I can use both sides for shooting. It, it, it all works. And also I can always rearrange it in a heartbeat. So that's perfectly fine. Don't worry about the number of elements that your Spanish wall got. That's all manageable. The rest of the lighting and camera setup is just the standard GL method. That means for lighting, I have got a shoot for umbrella and a speed light firing into the middle of this uh, corner. The speed light is on 1 16th power and my camera setup is like always a 200th of a second f2.8 ISO 100. This is working beautifully in black and white. We did the whole photo shoot in black and white, but it will equally well work in color. Let's turn this image in color. And there you go. We just have the skin tone and the hair tone. They both match, but the wall as such, it doesn't add any extra color. So that's all fine. It works either way. Another thing that I tried today was to use an alternative light modifier. Yeah, on level 3 of the GL method, we go into special light modifiers. One modifier that I typically like is the strip light. I tried it out and it got some advantage in scenes where I have the legs of the model in the frame. Yeah, such a strip light has got less fall off to the floor, so it provides me with a more even light along the body. That's cool, but on the other hand, in this particular scene, where I'm in a small white room inside this corner of the Spanish wall, the strip light will also give me a little bit of this feel of underlighting. I cannot raise it high enough so that I can get rid of underlighting and that is a feel where I just think it's too much light from below. It doesn't look 
mm, natural enough, so to speak. So I didn't quite like it in this particular scene. I stayed with the shoot for umbrella, which is a bit more directional from top to down, but it got exactly the softness and exactly the romantic feel that I wanted to bring across. So I would suggest just stick with the standard shoot through umbrella. Now, if you can get your hands on such a Spanish wall, then point A, you got a lovely new piece of furniture, which is good, but much more important, you have got an awesome quick setup studio background. Uh, and, and I really love it, so I suggest you try it out as well. In the next video, which I'm about to make, I will show you how you add a little, little thing to this setup just a very affordable cheap thing which will open up a whole new world of posing so stay tuned subscribe uh, give me a thumbs up and probably get your spanish wall in the meantime it really pays off i hope to see you in the next video until then like always i wish you good life <laughs>